Hello everyone, my name is Swaggy Pikehead, aka Thomas here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to get a custom rich presence in Discord. Um, that'll go under your profile, and you can completely customize this to whatever you want. You can put whatever picture and uh, tooltip you want here, and also a smaller one in the corner if you want, with its own custom tooltip or description, whatever you want to call it. Also, you can customize all of this, uh, this title up here, these two um, description bars, and uh, it'll show you playing the game if you do everything correctly. So, let's get started. The first step is to go to the following website. Make sure that you're signed in with your Discord username and password. This link will be in the description so that you don't need to type it in letter by letter. Then, once you have gone to the following website, you want to click on create an application right here just click on that so once you click on uh, create application you'll be greeted with this screen it might look complicated at first but i'm going to walk you through it the first thing that you need to do is name it uh, in the name box you can really put anything that you want but you will need it later um, my client id is hidden under here but um it's hidden for obvious reasons. I don't want people taking my client ID. Um, so once you've named it, uh, the next step is to get an app icon for yourself. It's uh, uh, The minimum size is 512 by 512 pixels. So this is just one that I made for myself. Uh, and then after you've chosen an icon, you can uh, put a description in this box here. It's totally optional and you won't need it later. Once you've done that, we can move on to the next step. Okay, so once you've done the previous step, uh, you're gonna look onto the left side under the settings area and go ahead and click Rich Presence. You will be greeted with this screen now. And this is the visualizer. So this is what it looks like for me right now. Uh, you can edit this in real time. Uh, it'll just show you a preview here. It won't edit what's actually going on in Discord because that is going to be edited through a different program which we will install after we set everything up here. So uh, if you want cool little um, pictures here, like uh, what I have, uh, you're going to want to go to Art Assets and then you're going to want to add image and you can really pick any image that you want. Uh, this is the recommended size but the minimum is 512 by 512 pixels. And once you've done that, make sure you click Upload Assets. You don't need to go to Advanced Settings. You won't need that. Um, so once you've uploaded your art assets, you can upload a cover image here. Uh, it won't really be used, but it's good to have it here just in case. Once you've done everything in Art Assets under Rich Presence, click Rich Presence again to go back to this uh, visualizer. And then what you want to do, uh, go to Large Image Key and select the correct image right there, and also small image key, select the one that you want, if you want this small little circular logo down there. You can also edit the text that uh, appears when you roll over the photo um, in both. It'll be called large image text and small image text, and it'll appear only when you roll over it. Nothing happens when you click them, uh, but um, it's a cool little thing to have. If you want to have a start and end time, uh, you'll have to figure it out. It's an it's in epoch time. I just don't have it. Uh, either it'll just say zero zero colon zero zero left, or uh, if you do it correctly, it'll do a countdown of how long you've been on it. But I personally didn't need it, so I personally won't be showing you. The state is uh, what uh, is down here, uh, the, the third line. It says, I am currently developing. That's mine, and you, you can edit that right up here. Under Details, uh, it's the second line, and you can edit that here. You can pretty much put whatever you want there. Uh, and the title of the app, uh, you edit it in the General Information screen. So that's where that comes into play. Uh, you can edit the party size. So for me, it's just one of one. Uh, you can edit anything that you want here. And basically, 
once you have done everything that you want uh, aesthetically to your rich presence, we can move on to the next step. Next, you want to go to the following website right here. It's a GitHub link, and the thing that you need to download is completely virus-free because I've downloaded it myself. And it's very it's a very simple program, but it's very awesome. So this link is going to be in the description as well for ease of access. Then what you're going to want to do is download the uh, the very latest of these programs. This is the thing that actually uh, shows up in Discord as a quote unquote game that you are quote unquote playing. And just click on the the one of your choice that is your operating system. This works on Windows and Linux. Uh, so just click it, it'll download in the corner here, click it to open it and extract it to the desktop. All right, once you have extracted this folder to your desktop, just double click to open it. All right, now that you have opened up the folder that is titled EasyRP-Windows or Linux, uh, you're going to want to open README if you need help, or you can just skip straight to opening the config. All right, so just double click to open uh, the config, and the config is just in a notepad. Uh, so you're going to want to put your client ID in there. Uh, I'm not going to bother hiding it. it. There's really no point. Uh, put the state in that you want. This is really important. Make sure that you put the state as exactly what you put in on the develop uh, window under the visualizer. Same thing with details. If you have a start, a start timestamp and end timestamp, you're gonna wanna uh, do it in this format, in numbers. It's, it's called EPOCH, or E-P-O-C-H. You'll have to look up a conversion uh, thing for that. Uh, so if you have that, you put that in there for start and end. Uh, for images, you have to put these in. Put the exact name of the image that you want. So, for example, large image for me is called Deving. Let's look back here. The large image key is called Deving. Uh, the name of the image that you want is, is the exact name of the picture that you saved to your hard drive. The exact name. So if it's called, if you save the image as my image, you'll have to type in my image. And then for the little thing that pops up when you roll over it with your mouse, uh, you put that in there for the large image. Same for small image, all that. And then when you're done with all this, make sure you go file and then you click save. Make sure you do that. And then what you could do is you can just close it. So now that you have completed config, you want to double click on Easy RP. It's just going to open a uh, command prompt window. Don't mess with anything in here. Um, it'll do its own thing. And then you want to go into Discord, User Settings, uh, Games. And then you're not going to see it, but you want to click Add It. And then you will see what's called, uh, it'll have all of your uh, things there. It'll be called EasyRP Windows slash EasyRP.exe. You put that in there, and uh, it should do its thing. You want to make sure that you display currently running game as a status message. And it's just as easy as that, you guys. Alrighty guys, that's basically it. That's how you get a custom rich presence in Discord uh, for the month of August. If uh, you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you let me know by hitting that like button and also clicking subscribe and turning on post notifications so you don't miss any more tutorials from me. Uh, make sure you have the latest version of Discord installed on your computer. Uh, this will not work on mobile, this will only work on computer. And um, with that being said, that's all for me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.